Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on thermal stresses. Let us read the question one time. A steel rod of 30 mm diameter passes centrally through a copper tube of 60 mm external diameter and 35 mm internal diameter. The steel rod passes centrally through a copper tube. The tube is closed at each end and nuts are tightened on the projecting points of the rod. If the temperature of the assembly is raised by 250 degrees Celsius, calculate the temperature stresses developed in copper and steel. The Young's modulus for steel and copper are given. The values of coefficient of linear thermal expansion are given. First, let us make the given data. External diameter of copper is 60 mm. Internal diameter of copper is 35 mm. Diameter of steel is 30 mm. The Young's modulus are given in giga Newton per meter square. We can convert them into kilo Newton per millimeter square. The alpha values for steel and copper are given. The alpha value for copper is higher than the alpha value for steel. The change in temperature delta T is given as 250 degree Celsius. In the first figure, the rod is rigidly fastened. So when the temperature increases, there will be no change in length. Suppose the bar is free to expand. Copper will be expanding more than steel. Because the alpha value for copper is higher than the alpha value for steel. The change in length in copper is alpha Cu L delta T. And the change in length in steel is alpha ST. L delta T. In reality, it won't happen like this. Both of the materials will take a intermediate position. To come to this intermediate position, copper has to compress by delta L C U. So, in copper, there will be compressive stress. To come to this intermediate position, steel has to expand by delta L S T. So in steel there will be tensile stress. Now let us make an expression alpha C U L delta T is equal to alpha S T L delta T plus delta L S T plus delta L C U. Let us take alpha S T L delta T on the other side it will come as negative. L delta T is common. We can take it outside. We know the formula for the change in length. PL upon AE. P upon A is the stress sigma. We can apply that. Using this formula for delta L C U and delta L S T, we can make these expressions. We know that sigma is equal to P upon A. So P is equal to sigma into A. The load P will be same in both of the materials. So we can write sigma ST into AST is equal to sigma CU into ACU. Then we can take AST on the right side. So it will come in the denominator. We know the values of AST and ACU. Let us apply them. Finally, we are getting sigma ST is equal to 2.639 sigma CU. For sigma ST, we can apply 2.639 sigma CU. Sigma CU and L are common. We can take them outside and then we can eliminate L. Then let us apply the Young's modulus values, alpha values and delta T. After the calculation, we are getting sigma Cu. 
we can convert sigma cu either in newton per millimeter square or mega newton per meter square we know that sigma cu is compressive we know that sigma st is equal to 2.639 sigma cu let us multiply sigma cu with 2.639 so that we will get sigma st which is tensile alternatively using the formulas we can find the answers first let us find the stress in copper using this formula now let us find the stress in steel using this formula now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video